Hello everyone, I'm Kirby. This is Kirby Meets Audio. We're in Banana Town, and today we're gonna to be talking about my four favorite amps that cost under $100. Getting into home audio can be a little expensive, uh, but what is great about DIY home audio is that you can use some of the money that you're saved by making your own speakers and put that towards uh, other stuff that's gonna make your whole system sound a little better. Um, you can put it towards some audio amps. Uh, we're going to talk about my favorite audio amps that are under $100. So they're still, you know, pretty inexpensive. And most of them are actually under $50. So that's great as well. Um, I'm going to start with the most expensive and then go down to the cheapest. And I'll have links to everything down in the doop doop below. Go check it. All right. So the first amp I want to talk about is the DTA 120. It's made by Dayton Audio. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this amp normally retails for $99, just under our $100 limit. Um, but right now, if you can catch it in time, it's on sale for $78. So check the link down below. It runs Class T and puts out 60 watts per channel uh, into a 4 ohm load. That's going to be our highest powered of all of our amps today. So this is this is the bigger of the four. You can input via RCA jacks in the back or a 3.5 millimeter input in the front. It's like a headphone jack. It has a really nice click uh, on off for the volume. The terminals, speaker out terminals in the back, uh, except banana plugs, that's really convenient. And it's made really well. Uh, it's made of aluminum, uh, pretty thick front, uh, looks great. It has these like fins on the side. It's a great amp, it just, it's, it's really nice. So this amp just sounds great. Uh, I've used it for a long time. Um, it has uh, a very low noise floor. It's really quiet when you're not playing music and it's on. Um, the sound stage is really wide and has really low distortion. Um, I just really like it. This is probably my favorite amp out of the lineup we have today. Um, it is on the higher side, but you really get tremendous value with this amp. And that's what I have to say about that. All right, so our next amp is the DTA 3116S. What's with these names? Come on, that's ridiculous. Let's unbox it. All right, so this guy costs 35 bucks, 34 bucks, something like that. Uh, so we've come down in price quite a bit. It's a mini amplifier that runs a class D chip. Uh, it puts out 15 watts into two channels um, and it's tiny. <laughs> Look how small it is. This amp would work great uh, if you're in a situation where you're trying to hide your amp or you're, you don't want the amp to be, you know, prominent in your audio display. I, I don't know. Uh, it can be easily hid like in a drawer or, or you know behind some books or something like that So that's that's pretty convenient. It only has a 3.5 millimeter jack input on the back And it also has these really annoying silly screw terminals uh, For your speaker out you have to like screw them in in, in there. It's annoying, but other than that um, It's a great little amp. It's a little noisy. The the sound floor is is a little loud uh, so when you're not playing music, it does have a little bit of hiss, but it's not too bad. And the overall sound is really warm and nice. Uh, and for 35 bucks, it's a good one. I like this guy. The next amp is a DTA-1 by Dayton Audio. Quite a few Dayton Audio. I, I, I like Dayton Audio. And if you've been watching this channel at all, I, I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, let's open this guy up. This amp costs $29 and it's worth every penny. It runs class T, uh, it puts out 15 watts per channel, and it has spring terminals for the speaker outs. I like that. 
convenient. But one of the best things about this amp and what put this amp in the list is the fact that you can run it off of batteries. I can get this off. It's really not that hard, I'm just... So you can stick some batteries in there and... Uh... So if you, um you know, have some smaller portable speakers, or if you're um, gonna play some music or want to play some music outside, um, that's really nice. You know, uh, I think it's eight AA batteries, eight AA batteries and you're uh, good to go. Or rechargeable batteries. That's nice too. The amp also sounds really good. So it uses the same board as a board probably a lot of you have already used, which is the DTA-2, and it's a, uh, you know, it's the just the the class T, just audio amp board that you can put into basically any DIY project. I've used it a lot in the past, um, and it just comes in this little housing. Um, click on and off. It's nice. It's kind of a funky <laughs> housing style, uh, but it's not too bad. It has a really nice like soft uh, texture finish on it. Um, but yeah. You could also, uh, thinking about it, you can get the DTA2 amp board and make your own housing. Um, that'd be a pretty fu fun project. I might do that in the future. Right, we'll see. All right, the DTA1. All right, last but certainly not least is the Lapai LP series of amplifiers. Um, you've heard me talk about these in the past. Uh, this is the Class T version. Um, they also make a class D version, but I haven't opened the box yet, so let's do the, the unboxing thing. All right, here we go. So like I said, they come in a few different versions. There's a class T like this one. And there's also a class D. Um, they're both around 20 to $25, and they're great little amps. They're very popular. And the reason why they're very popular is they're pretty cheap, and they sound good. It's just simple. And the, 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 the volume knob lights up. There's LEDs in, in the volume knob. It's pretty cool. There's also tone controls. Um, there's treble and bass control on the front of the amp. They're uh, bypassable, so you can turn them on or off. You can use them or not use them. Uh, that's kind of nice. The only amp in this selection that has that. Uh, they put out about 15 watts per channel. Uh, you have the choice between a 3.5 millimeter input or an RCA input, and uh, they work. It's good. Oh, I'll put a link up to a video where I tested one of these guys out. Um, check that video out. All right, so these were my picks for my four favorite amplifiers under $100. Actually, most of them were under $50. Um, I'm sure you have uh, amps that you like, your opinion's different than mine. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys like for under $100. What did I miss? What did I miss? I wanna know. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of you, uh, your eyeballs on, on the YouTubes. Um, I do have plans, build plans for speakers and all sorts of other stuff. You can hit the link right up there. I also have kits, uh, makes it a little easier. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a great day. Have a great day. All right, I'll see you. Bye.